Well, looks like we got something in the mail here. So let's go ahead and plop this open. And as you can see, that's what the box says. Looks like we got some good stuff in here. Let's go ahead and review what we got in here. Hey guys, it's Safety Security Alert here today. And today I'm going to be doing a review of the Simplex 2099-9103 Brake Glass Dual Action Pull Station. So we're going to get started. Inside this Tyco box, we got this box right here, as you can see. And there you go, now you can see the top. And we got these. Let's go ahead and give a review of these. So let's open the box and see what we got inside. So we open up the box here, right? And we have our actual pull station. We can pull this out. And it is here. We can put that aside. And it looks like we have an instruction manual. This is all if you get this device brand new in box. You can see it has a whole manual of dual actions and how to install it and what it's, what it's for everything like that. We also get this little bag in here. It has a key, a brake rod, and then screws, and then a little piece that I'll show you what it is for in a little bit. Then you also get a brake glass piece inside here. That's pretty much it for inside this box. So we'll go ahead and put it aside. So we're going to go ahead and bring in the actual device here. This is what it looks like. It's the 2099-9103. As you can see, how you get it right now is just like this. It doesn't have any glass on it. This is how you get it. Um, this is a conventional model of these pull stations. As you can see, there's two little terminals on the back. There's no adjustable module. And this big thing is to hold the button in extra securely. So here we have the knocker, the T-bar, and that's pretty much that. So we're going to go ahead and open up our little baggie here, this is what we get, like I said, a brake rod, which is plastic, you get a B key for the pull station, and then you get three screws for this model of devices, and then you also get this little tiny plastic piece, as you can see. Now this is for holding in the glass, I'll show you how that works in a minute. So we have the brake rod, and that's pretty much that. So we're going to go ahead and open up this pull station and show you the inside. And we're not going to go over and read through the manual, but this has a lot of information on how this unit works. So, so um, you can, it should come with the manual if you get this brand new. So this is how it is. Um, you take our B key to open it up, stick it in, and then of course a lot of the newer ones, they turn to the right instead of the left. So you're going to want to turn it to the right and then you'll unlock the pull station. Open it up, here's the inside. As you can see right here is the model number, 2099-9101, that's the type, and it has the date code, and this is just your regular button in here. You have a button, and then you have your little lever right there, like this, that's spring-loaded, and then right there is the little spot for the knocker, so that's basically how that works. I'm sorry if you can't see perfectly, but that's pretty much how that works right there. So. I'm going to quickly show you how to install your brake glass and how you would actually install this unit on the wall. So what you would do to install the unit is you would have a back box on the wall, a back box meaning one of these, which is a simplex rated back box that this unit here fits right onto. Or if it's flush mounted, there will be a back box right into the wall. Let's just say as if this is the back box. You'll have the wall over here with your wires coming through. You'll take this, take a flathead screwdriver, insert your two wires into here, into these two, into these two terminals here. And then once those are secure, you're gonna wanna open up your, your device. And then you're gonna wanna take your three screws that they give you, or four. And then you're gonna wanna put in the, the screws into the pull station right here. Or if it's um, on a flush mounted back box, it'll be the two in the middle. So then, before you're all done, what you're going to want to do 
is take your packet here. They, get, they give you packets, and I have extra um, packets of brick glass poles. And we can open it up, and you're going to want to be very careful with these glass pieces because they're very easy to break if you drop them. As you can see, here's the inside. It comes with just a little um, see-through break glass, as you can see here. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab your little piece here, your key, and your break glass. So what you're going to want to do is just go to the device. I'll zoom in a little here. There you go. And then lift up the knocker. And this is only on these newer models, 4251-30s, which are these older simplex pole stations, but with the break glass, work a little different, more different than this. So what you're going to want to do is stick it up and in. As you can see, it goes up underneath those little clips there. And it won't hold on its own there. So what you want to do is take your little plastic piece, hold it up, and then go right into the bottom of the area right here where the handle latches. See, right there? And then now it's all in, and you are ready to have the glass broken. So you would just smash it and then pull it. So that's basically that. And I'll also really quickly show you how to install your break glass rod or your break rod, which in this case, this one's hollow and plastic. So these are the ones that come with these pull stations. What you're simply going to want to do is take your break rod. This is for extra support, and you can also put these in these pole stations or anything. So you just simply place it in. See, just place it right into the little holes right there. And then your brake rod is in. Now there's not any anything that holds the brake rod down. When the device is shut, it's being basically held by the back of the unit. So real quick, I'll also go ahead and show you how to take the glass piece out. Um, so you know how that little thing right there is holding it? Basically what I'm gonna wanna do is you're going to want to open up the pull station carefully, very, very, very carefully. And what you're going to want to do is simply push down from the inside on the little clip that we put in, which holds the glass. And then, and then the glass will come slipping out. As you can see, it's not in anymore. And now the glass piece, which we're going to be very careful with and save, and the little holding piece are out. So now we're just going to go over basics on what it says. It says at the top, fire alarm to let you know that this is a fire alarm. Break glass, pull down. Simplex. And sometimes it says break glass, pull handle, but this one does not. So the way you would activate this is you would, you would use this and smash it and then pull it down. So I just went ahead and set the other simplex dual action pull station right next to it. So these are basically two of Simplex's double action pull stations. This one to your right is a push in pull down model. This one is a break glass pull down. So as you might know, these are both dual actions like I said. Right, so this one you push in here and then pull down. But the real true fact is that the real official dual action with fire alarms are the break glass. These are actually official dual action pull stations. Because you really have to do one thing. These you really don't have to do. You really don't have to push it. But these aren't really official dual actions. It's a, it's a push-pull. But this is the real break and pull. This is the official dual action. So that's basically that in case you didn't know. They also make models of that pull station that are addressable. Which this model right here is addressable. They make models of that that are addressable as well. But this is an addressable pull station. just has a module. And I will make another video on addressable devices very soon, so stay tuned for that. And um, that's pretty much that with the brake glass. So I'm going to ensure you that um, when, when, you, when you're working with one of these for testing mode, or just you're a collector and you want to try breaking the glass, I would recommend you have a garbage can nearby and be extremely very careful with this because uh, you don't want to get a cut. That's very bad. So... With break glasses, it's very dangerous, but it's very cool. Whoa, speaking of dangerous. Well, I guess that goes to show you all that <laughs> these glass pieces are pretty fragile. So, um, always install the device first before you put the break glass in. So that's one thing that you gotta remember. And um, I'm going to go ahead and show you a clip 
that I'm about to do of me breaking this glass on this pull station. So you'll see how to actually operate this. And I'm going to smash the glass. So, wow. And then we're going to pull it. All right, everybody. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to give this pull station a test. So I have it hooked up to my Simplex True Alert. The model is 4903-9425. And um, I will also be making another video someday about the type of True Alerts to get for certain panels and which ones are quote unquote safe for certain panels or not, or not safe for certain panels or whatever. So yeah, this is um, just the regular version like that I have in my system. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a demonstration. Again, there's no glass on it right now because of course I just broke it. <laughs> um, now I'm going to lift up the knocker. I'm going to pull it down. And this is obviously going to be on continuous. So I just turned off the power real quick because, wow, that was loud. <laughs> so now I'm going to give it a reset. close it and that's pretty much that so that's pretty much the whole review and video on this pull station um, if you have any questions about any simplex devices or really anything in general um, don't hesitate to ask and uh, yeah so thank you so much for watching this video of the simplex 2099 9103 pull station and I hope you enjoyed it uh, stay tuned for some videos soon See ya.